Yeah, this thing about you know, starting with myself. Um, I mean, this is for me also a core, a core understanding that whatever I'm trying to change in the world is a mirror of something inside, which for me doesn't necessarily mean that I change myself first, but that I recognize that inner and outer change are intimately connected and each affects the other. But one one thing that I've that I've actually been questioning recently is can I even change myself? And and you know, is this like turning this this paradigm of force inward, but isn't that still the same thing? And when I look at when I have gone through big changes, how did that actually happen? Was it because I finally mustered the willpower and mastery and I changed myself? And you know, then I can, you know, get the take the credit and uh, you know, what an accomplishment I've did. And why don't you do it, brother? You had I did it. Why why can't you? What's wrong with you? Like there's something that's still incomplete about that for me. And and so when I look at like how did I actually change, you know, maybe it was <laughs> it came as an unexpected gift. Maybe yeah. it was what happened after I tried and tried and tried to change and utterly failed. And maybe I thought I'd changed and told myself and the world, yeah, I've changed, but I was pretending. Yeah. And I still was secretly the same person. And then I humiliatingly realized that. And, and so, oh my God. And it's, and, and it's from that total collapse that the actual change enters. In my experience, this, I have to say, this is how it's happened for me.